Hey everyone, this is Dr. Sharier again. So uh, today I'm back again with an another video. The first video was on MCMCQ. Please go and check in our YouTube channel for that video. And today I'm going to demonstrate about the MC clinical. So uh, as short as I will try to uh, came up with, you know. So MC clinical, that's the uh, exam like you know it's a bit expensive exam the exam fees is you know 3200 like Australian dollars you can convert it to US dollars but uh, Australian doctors earn a lot so uh, in that way it's fine uh, second thing you know it's uh, OSCE exam so that's you know 20 station based 16 of them are you know stations and four of them are uh, rest stations so you know it's always better you go one day prior to the exam to the center to see your center that's my personal tip so it'll be a bit relaxed in the exam device your center you know don't get confused actually if you're going from the asian countries you don't know about the idea because you know you have an idea like you know okay where is the place you know you ask anyone anyone tell it's not like you, you won't even find where is in you know, australian medical council it's like in the in the laptop we have another video you can check in the youtube i i was giving demonstration where is the exam center so it's 300 lateral there are two coffee shops downstairs and melbourne central station is very nearby there are some mcdonald's some nandu's shops are also nearby okay so this will help i I'm, i hope so second thing like you know um you should book the exam like you know at least like whenever the date open you should book the exam and you, you should get ready in the internet like you know while booking because a lot of competition in taking seats okay so this is another tip second thing uh, we're going to give some demonstration on the books actually so a lot of people requested me to give some idea what books to study so compared to the MC MCQ uh, we have limited resources here we're trying to increase the resources so that pass will be increased in like MC MCQ so we have already started our MC clinical course and I believe like you know with our course you all will get you know a lot success than before okay so here's some books about uh, MC clinical if you can see this is one of the mother book like this is MC handbook clinical as you can see this is one of the main book secondly John Murta still you need John Murta like you know many cases like example headache like in the in the headache you know chapter you know it started with a lot of questions so you know when you were studying for MC clinical you are not studying you know what are the question you need to ask for the headache you quickly go into the other things actually for MC but now you need to know like you know what are the questions in the history you have to ask to the patient so so John Murta is still helpful, but MC Handbook Clinical. But the main book, I would say, is Karen Notes, actually. So they're like small books. Uh, I have separated it like this. It has medicine, surgery, gynae, all these things. I also modified it a lot, actually. It's, it's an old note, but, you know, I have modified it a lot. So that's the Karen Notes. Yeah, it's very helpful. Each, every Karen Note, you need to act. Remember this tip. Okay, so then you'll get a full idea. Our candidates were requesting, you know, two minutes, eight minutes. They are practicing with us over online and, or in this office they're coming. Okay, over online you can also practice with groups. So we also help in getting a study partner. Like if you don't have a study partner, uh, it's not a good news. Like, you know, you must have a study partner if you want to pass the MC clinical. I do a lot of role play. Role play is something so important for MC clinical. And uh, now you see some other books like differential diagnosis because it's all about differential diagnosis. They'll be given a scenario in the door. You'll just read the scenario, then you'll get two minutes, the bell rang, you enter, the examiner will come and will introduce, show your ID, okay, then go hand wash, introduce with the patient, okay, then you know start your case. So already 20 30 seconds is going, you know, just in greeting introduction. So seven and a half minutes and try to finish your case 30 seconds prior so that in the next station you'll get some time. Okay, so that's my tip and uh, always start with similar kind of approaches most of the stations that's also good another tip from my side so, and some other books like differential diagnosis book as you can see the Churchill's one is a good one Susan is another good book uh, Australian medicine handbook this is for pharmacological index not that much needed for MC clinical some physical examination so important physical examination this is one part I want to say remember in the med school our teacher used to say you need to do a lot of physical examination because people are lazy doing that so they have an idea okay just before the exam we'll do a lot of physical examination we'll finish it that's a wrong concept okay try to get through the physical examination Macloys has so many videos um, in the over internet you'll find so many videos so you know try to grab the correct one do the correct one make your hand move accordingly so that would be great actually and also we also have the physical examination session we have um, made lot of physical examination videos and at the same time we have edited them 
in nice way you know with some captions so that each every physical examination station you can understand well so we have the role play session we have the talent note session separately like you know everything you need we have so don't worry at all uh, but you know i'm giving ideas so that you know those are not my academic students they can also get some help here so d- practice 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 that's the most important thing practice 2 minutes 8 minutes that's the key to success practice with your friends practice in different groups you know get yourself exposed more some doctors have because most of the doctors are lady doctors so some doctors don't came out actually they thought okay just before the exam we'll do it's not a good idea so just came out you know discuss with friends mix up with you know more people you have english fluency and all these things you know need to improve a lot okay so it's not about just english speaking it's about when you are putting into a such situation like pressure pressure situation how you're reacting to that that's the mc clinical exam so thank you so much this is dr sharier and i'll come up with an, another video soon so take care and subscribe to my channel